Construction Equipment Inspection Checklist Before and After Operation Part 2 Remove any dirt, mud, debris, or other stuff from the radiator and other engine parts, as well as the engine compartment. All engine elements must be able to move, breathe, and cool properly, but foreign matter accumulation can obstruct all of this. Examine the air, gasoline, oil, and other filters for damage or leaks, replacing a faulty filter is usually inexpensive and simple, but that isn't always the case with the harm that untreated filter problems can do. Check the fan, alternator, and other belts for wear, frays, or other damage, much like with the filters, it's far better if belt problems are identified and fixed early in terms of machine downtime and expense. Grease points, grease joints, and high friction regions of heavy equipment should be inspected as needed to guarantee smooth, efficient operations and prevent undue wear and damage, every operator's manual provides information on grease points and frequency. Check hydraulic connections, pressure, and the complete coupling structure, remember to let go of pressure while removing attachments. Check buckets, teeth, and other ground tools for breaks or damage, these issues can severely restrict productivity, as well as fuel efficiency and safety, and can lead to structural wear and damage. Check for a flush and fully engaged coupler, as well as securely linked hydraulic hoses and electrical connections, on the attachment mount up. Take a few moments to review the machine's whole structure, look for signs of wear, damage, and other issues. Check the operator's cab for anything that doesn't belong and remove it. Before beginning operations, inspect the operator controls, indicator, and warning lights, and make sure lighting and safety features such as the backup alarm and rear view camera are operational. Inspect and set the mirrors for best visibility. For more information call 469. 370-7501 or visit interstateheavyequipment.com. <laughs>